So for today's comparison, I have iPhone 14 Pro Max versus iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now let's begin. It's not really the same screen type, but they have a similar difference. And then the refresh rate can go up to 2000 nits brightness in the iPhone 14. They're pretty much the same pixel density. I don't really like the resolution. 6.7 inches screen size. That's okay. 19.5 to 9 aspect ratio. Water resistance is like the best. IP67 up to 6 meters below water. The protection are both ceramic, they are each treated glass. Now for performance. I like the screen of the iPhone 14. The processor has received an upgrade to a 3.46. That's just like 2% improvements or so. The chipset, that's the Apple A16 chipset. Score 850. So it's not far from the previous A15 chipset. The GPU, good quality. The system, they're both 5G. They're running iOS 16. I said there's not a lot of difference from the iPhone 13 with the new iPhone 14. The battery, somewhat similar, but they are optimized now in the iPhone 14. Fast charging, pretty much slow. It's good to see that the iPhone 14 received a good performance boots. So the camera, the main lens. To be honest, I'm Sticking with the iPhone 13 camera, even though the iPhone 14 has received some slight tweaks. 48 megapixel main lens. The video recording remains the same 4K 60 frames per second. The selfie camera remains the same 12 megapixel, except for the aperture. It's a bit better in the iPhone 14. Video recording remains the same 4K 60 frames per second. I wouldn't say there's a lot of difference between both camera. Memory card is not supported. Here you have a fast transfer rate. The iPhone is still Android, still faster than iPhone. RAM, 6 gig of RAM. And for internal storage up to one terabyte. The iPhone 14 RAM, I can't confirm it's a DDR5, but I think it is. And they have the same height. The width, they are the same. They are just a fraction of difference. And thickness, thickness is also the same. The eyes won't know the difference between the thickness. The weight, they are still heavy. 240 gram. The features. They're yeah, still using the same charging board. Yes. You can purchase the adapter to use with the earphone. Radio, no. NFC. Yes, in both devices. As I said, um, there's not a lot of difference with the new iPhone 14. Fingerprint, Face ID, and Bluetooth. It's definitely the 5.3. So the iPhone 14 has a better design and features, especially for the Bluetooth. The results are so the pricing for the previous version and newest release tends to remain the same. But the winner definitely going to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It has a slightly better screen, way better performance. Not so much for the camera, not much of an improvement. Both devices have the same storage and just a better features. Comment below which one you prefer. See you in the next video, guys.